Hey up everyone, it's Gardening with Ben here. Well, it's the beginning of June, so I thought I'd give you a little tour of my allotment. Show you what's growing, what's not growing, I show you everything. Don't you worry, I'm an honest gardener and some things aren't growing too well. So let's have a look around and see what's going on. So we'll start off at the front of my plot and work his way down and let's give you a tour around. So this is the front of my plot. I've cleared out all the front and put some fresh compost in. Look at these, these are growing really well. The heather's all died back now, that's all died back. But yeah, we've got some flowers coming out. And look at this hydrangea. I can't believe how well that's growing. I put that in a couple of years ago and it's just starting to take now and hopefully we'll get some flowers on it this year. But yeah, it's all cleared back. We've put some some flowers in the front as well. Just to make a bit of colour. We need to add some in the mother gaps further up. But yeah, we've got some lupins in as well. Hopefully they take and don't get eaten. But we'll see. We've just got to keep everything watered. Which is a struggle because I work shifts. But yeah, that's the front of the plot. And wow, look at this. Look at this beautiful rose. What's happening at the Looks absolutely stunning. And then we've got us climbing roses, which are all growing really nice. We've got to keep deheading them so they keep growing and keep flowering. Just keep deheading them off as they die off. But yeah, everything's getting a bit mad. We need to clear all that bindweed this week. That's one of this week's jobs. But we've got another rose over there as well. We've got summer bedding plants in. But as you can see, it's all covered over with bindweed. So we need to clear all that back. So stay tuned for an update on that. Look at how tall this lily is. It's absolutely huge. It's nearly as tall as me. We're talking about five foot. Five foot tall. It's got some flowers on it, so hopefully we'll get some coming on it. We've got this plum tree, which we've got some plums on it. Not loads, but hopefully we'll get some growing on it. We've got this cooking apple tree, which have we got any on there? Yeah, we've got some cooking apples on. So hopefully we'll be having some apple crumble. And then as we go around here, let's have a look. As rhubarb. as rhubarb looks a bit bad at the moment as we picked a load the other day and got some for some crumble which my mum's made for me we need to chop all these brambles back what are growing everywhere but yeah look at these pears we've got some pears coming we've got loads of pears actually absolutely loads of pears hopefully we'll get a good crop this year but you've got to be careful because in June there's a called like the fruit trees drop a load of fruit uh, what we don't need so we'll have to see what survives the drop but we've got some apples growing as well on this one and then this is my summer bedding area which I showed you in a previous video I planted the other day I got all the summer bedding in the alliums still look absolutely stunning some of them are dying off but once they die off you can trim them off and dry them out and have them as ornaments in your vases and they look stunning still but yeah we've got lots of summer bedding in here so hopefully we get some good colour in this polytunnel we've got some cucumbers growing yes we do use slug pellets as I do need to keep the slugs off them because they do love them but hopefully it shan't be too long once they take off and get growing then we won't need to put any on We've got some peppers as well, so hopefully we get some decent peppers. And we've got an aubergine as well, a cheap one that I bought, so hopefully it grows well. If not, we'll see. And we're in a shed now, we planted some more seeds the other day to fill gaps in where we've got on as allotment. We've planted some lettuce, which has started popping through. Those are some sweet beans that I still need to get out, they don't look too healthy in there. <laughs> like I said, I do show you everything what's not growing very well. But yeah, we've got some peas and we've got some uh, dwarf beans. They've not started popping through yet. Oh, we've got a bit of life. They're just starting to pop through. But we've got some more sweet corn here. That's popping through. We've got beetroot. We've got some more cucumbers. We've got some cauliflower. We've got some spinach. 
got turnips growing really well, we've got some more beetroot. So yeah, we've got some more seeds growing. There's a sweet williams, what we need to plant out. And then outside we've got some sunflowers. We've planted some poppies in here as well, so hopefully we get some big ornamental poppies growing. We don't know, we'll, we'll, hopefully we'll give them a try. Then in here we've got those potatoes growing in boxes. They're doing absolutely fantastic, growing really well. So hopefully we get some good crops of potatoes. We did this last year and they did really well. These are my Logan berries what are growing. Logan berries are a delicious fruit to grow. If you've never tried growing Logan berries, give them a try. As blueberries are growing well, look at them. Hopefully we'll get some decent blueberries off. We've not got loads on them. We've got a decent crop. We've got some strawberries growing. We need to get all these netted up this week and protected because once they start growing out, that's when they'll get eaten. But yeah, we've got some nice strawberries growing. Again, we need to net them all, and we've got some squash plants as well, growing in between the gaps. We've got a grapevine growing. I don't know if we'll get any grapes on it there. But we need to sort out trailing that a bit better, because it's just starting to get a bit tall now. But it's growing well. We've got this gooseberry plant. It had some gooseberries on it the other day, so something must have pinched them all. We've got birds have eaten them, the little tinkers. More strawberries growing. Yeah, hopefully we'll get a decent crop of strawberries. We've got more roses growing. I do love these climbing roses. Absolutely gorgeous. Some on this side as well. We've got this garlic. This garlic's looking pretty good, some of it. So hopefully we'll get some decent garlic. We've got this trailing formless blackberry all the way down the sides of the pot. And look at this lettuce, absolutely looking fantastic. That's going to be ready to pick. I'm going to pick some of that this week. We've got some beetroot growing in between, which is growing well. And behind the blue netting, we've got peas. You can just see them in between. They're growing well. We've got some sweet corn out, some more beetroot. Again, like I said, I've been working, so that's why it's a bit dry at the moment. So we need it to give it good water, which won't get that done. So hopefully we get some sweet corn. We did see that I am growing some more sweet corn, but we can fill them in the bed with that. We've got runner beans growing on the side to the plot. We've got dwarf beans. Oh, we've got flowers on this courgettes already. Look at them. The flowers are coming on the courgettes, which is a good sign. So now we've got more peas. We need to sort some of these out and get them fastened up properly. But we're off work now for three days. So hopefully we're going to get some good peas. Now in here, we've got these pumpkins. Look at these, they're growing. Oh, we've got a pumpkin on already. Look at that. We've got a pumpkin there. But yeah, we've got some pumpkin plants in. I did well one year and I grew a massive pumpkin so we'll have to see if we can get another good pumpkin growing. We've got more climbing beans. Got some more sunflowers, lots more climbing beans. You can tell we're really like climbing beans this year. But yeah, things are coming on really well. We've still got areas that we need to sort out. I lost a lot of my brassicas because I forgot to net them. But you live and learn. We'll get them netted. You never know, they might grow back. So we're going to net them over and give them a good trip. Also, look at them roses. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic, them roses. Growing really, really well. So that's a little tour of my allotment. Just how it's coming on. Like I say, I'm always open and honest. Look at how black this sky looks. Hopefully it's going to rain. <laughs> Turn me watering. But yeah, thank you for watching as always. Do make sure you give me a follow. Do click the comment section, leave a comment for me, it does help with the algorithms. And remember, keep smiling, keep shining, and keep gardening with Bennett.